And tonight there are fears a fourth wave of COVID could send us back into heightened restrictions. That is not the case yet, but New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell has announced an indoor mask advisory and other leaders say similar mandates are on the table. And Devin Bartolotta is kicking off our team coverage tonight of this new surge driven by that Delta variant. Devin? Well, Katie and Sharice, cases are rising in every region, but very quickly in the parishes from Baton Rouge to the North Shore. Let's take a closer look here. This is the LDH website. Ascension, Livingston, and Tantapahoa parishes have a positivity rate, all three of them, above 16%. And those three parishes are some of the lowest vaccination rates in the region at 35% or lower. It is data like this that is sounding alarm bells statewide. Wednesday marked the third highest new COVID case count in Louisiana since the pandemic began. Hospitalizations are up, ventilator use on the rise, deaths climbing. We're in our fourth surge and it is real. And Governor John Bell Edwards says more than 90% of people getting sick are unvaccinated. In St. Tammany Parish, the case positivity rate is at nearly 12%. I think the combination of the rollback of mitigation measures, the prevalence of the Delta variant, and the lack of vaccines has created the perfect storm that we are indeed probably heading into the fourth surge. In Jefferson Parish, President Cynthia Lee Shang says test sites are busier as case numbers increase, and there's concern about planning tardy gras for this September. Given the numbers today, and if the numbers keep keep rising, it's it, we're not going to be able to have a parade if the numbers are high. I mean, the only reason, the only way we really could parade, and I could put all our people out on the street and into a crowd, is if our numbers were low for COVID. The number of those in the hospital has spiked in every corner of the state, and Louisiana still sits as one of the five least vaccinated states in the country. As best we can tell on current data, 93, 94% of the cases are preventable because these are among unvaccinated people. We have to do better. For Governor Edwards, that means slowing the spike and getting more shots in arms. The governor today wouldn't say if re-implementing mask mandates is still on the table, but we will hear from him Friday. Back to you, Katie and Therese. Devin, thanks so much.